Hi kids, welcome back. We're looking at lesson 13, which is a book about the runaway otter. Well, what is an otter? An otter is here. You can see this animal right here. By the way, this animal looks kind of odd, doesn't it? It's like <laughs> thinking about something, right? He's kind of smiling a little bit and he's thinking about running. Running where? Running away. When someone runs away, it means like they escape. Domanghada, right? If they don't like where they are, they might run away trying to find another place. So this otter, which looks like a little, it almost looks like a, like a squirrel, really, uh, but it's an otter. An otter lives in the ocean, not like a squirrel, right? But it looks like a squirrel. It lives in the ocean. And this is another picture of an otter here. He's thinking of running away. And by the way, this is a true story. So let's take a look at the contents. Here we have the escape. The escape means to, to get out of some place, to run away, to be successful in running away. You escape. Then we have the runaway otter. Next, the great search. So people look for the otter, right? The report. There's a report filed about the otter. Then the phone call. Somebody calls about the otter. The tasty food. The otter finds some tasty food. Mm. And then the rescue. People find the otter because the otter, he thinks it wants to run away. But when it runs away, it's in danger. It has to be rescued. And then, of course, at the end, we have our glossary of important words. So, this looks like an interesting tale. Looks like an interesting story. Let's take a look. Let's begin. First, we have the escape. The escape means you escape from somewhere. Where? Well, look at this picture. Where does it look like they are? And you can see, you can see the picture, the photograph of the otters here. They're kind of cute, right? That's the real photograph. And then over here, we have a drawing of the otters. And they're, they have their home here. Where are they? Where does it look like they are? Across the street is a zebra, right? What kind of place is that? Well, this is called a zoo. Zoo. When you pronounce Z, Z, zoo. Not Jew, zoo, zoo. Okay, good. Okay, let's read. The otters at the zoo have a large, safe home. And we can see it. It's large and safe. It has water for them. It's safe because uh, uh, dangerous animals or other things can't come inside, right? They can swim in the water. They can play on the bank. On the bank. Unheng? No, not that kind of bank. <laughs> this is also called a bank in English. The bank is next to the river, and they can play on the bank. So a bank is some earth or dirt that's next to the river, or a, well, usually to a river or a stream. Okay, A stream is smaller, a river is bigger. So the otters can play in the water. They can swim. They can play on the bank. They can do these things. Okay. One day, three otters, one, two, three, three otters at the zoo got into mischief. Mischief. That's a Himduro word, right? What does mischief mean? Well, mischief means they do something they're not supposed to do. At home, if you do something you're not supposed to do, like maybe you go into the kitchen and take all the cookies and your mom gets angry, right? Or if you make a mess in the living room, you spill dirt or something in the living room, <gasps> mom gets angry. You got into mischief, right? Another way that we say that, we also say cause trouble cause trouble. Trouble and mischief are very similar. They're almost the same. And you can also say, get into trouble. Can you come out to play? No, I can't. I got into trouble. My mom says I have to stay home. I got into trouble. 
Or sometimes your friends will say, "Don't do that. You will get in trouble. You'll get in trouble. Get in or get into doesn't matter. Get into trouble." So these otters got into mischief. They got into trouble. What did they do? They found a way out of their safe home. They found a way out so they could get out of their home. But they're not supposed to do this. They're going to get in trouble. They're going to get in trouble. Okay, what happens next? The runaway otter. The keepers at the zoo looked for the otters, and we can see them here, right? They look. Where are they? Where is the otters? Right? They're searching. They're surprised. <gasps> They're gone. Where did they look? When you look for something, right? You're trying to find something. You're searching to search, search, right? So you search for something means you look for something. You're looking for something. Where did they look? They looked in the water. They looked along the blank bank bank. They looked. All over the zoo, so they looked in three places. They looked in the water, they looked along the bank, and they looked all over the zoo. They looked in the other animals' homes, like oh, well, there's the otters there. They're hiding, so they probably looked in the zebra's home. No otters. They looked in the elephant's home. No otters. They looked in the lion's home. No otters. But the lion didn't look happy. Okay. <laughs> They found two otters. Aha! They found two otters, so we can find them, right? There's one here, and there's one here. They found two otters, but, but, one otter, the third otter was gone. The third otter escaped. Domangata, right? He escaped. So the third otter was gone. They couldn't find him. The great search. So before I taught you the word search, right? They looked everywhere. Now it's now it's a big search. It's a great search. Not just the zoo. They're going to look everywhere in the town, right? The zookeepers looked outside the zoo. Outside the zoo, they looked in streets and gardens. They looked in creeks and ponds. So they're looking in more places. Where did you look? Well, we looked in this place. We looked in that place. We looked outside the zoo. We looked in the streets. We looked in the gardens. We looked in creeks. Creeks are so, like stream, a small stream, and ponds. Ponds are small bodies of water, small areas of water. They played otter sounds to call the runaway otter home. That's interesting. They played otter sounds. Well, that's a good idea. They had a recording, right? On your cell phone, you can record sounds. Go to the park. Use your cell phone to record the bird songs, right? You can record it, and then later, you can play it and see if any birds come, right? It's a good idea. But that's what they did. They played otter songs, noise sounds from other otters to see if the otter would come. Oh, I hear other otters. He doesn't know. It's only a cell phone or、uh, uh, some other、uh, micro、uh, speaker. They used sniffer dogs to try to find where she was hiding. A sniffer dog is a dog with a very good nose. Dogs can smell very well, so they used a dog to see if the dog could smell where is the otter. Okay, did they find the otter? There she is. <laughs> they didn't. They missed her, but they're looking the wrong way, right? Well, let's find out what happens next after a break. Okay.